Postal workers in Springfield and across the country say the U.S. government is killing the Postal Service. I'll have a live interview coming up. You're watching your local news on WAND. Storm Center 17 at 5. First in HD. Good evening. Thanks for being here. Postal workers, they're rallying across the country in an effort to stop a reform bill. Yeah, right now, the local mail carriers union in Springfield is demonstrating outside Senator Dick Durbin's office. And our Casey Lund is there live where that demonstration is just getting started. Now, Casey, what's at stake here? Well, Stacy, I'm here with Tony Hudson with the National Association of Letter Carriers. Uh, Tony, right now, as the bill's written, what's what's your guys' problem with it? Our biggest problem with uh, Senate Bill 1789, which the Senate is set to take up next week, is that it focuses mainly on cuts, cutting services, cutting uh, days of delivery. It will reduce the uh, delivery from six days to five days. It will. Uh, cut door-to-door -door -door delivery to some 35 million homes and continue to slash services. Our concern is you can't grow a business when all you're focused on is cutting service. Certainly no doubt that the Postal Service is in trouble, but this isn't the way to go about fixing it. That is correct. We believe that correct reform is needed, but not reform that will destroy the Postal Service. A new business model started from the ground up that focuses on growing business, not cutting business. And Senator durbin has been a big part of being behind that, correct? And we, we hope he continues to do so, and that's why we're out here today. Excellent. Sean and Stacy, hundreds of these rallies. We really, it's kind of the last big push in an effort to bring a lot of attention to this before the Senate meets back it on the 16th in Washington, D.C., live in Springfield. I'm Casey Lund reporting for WAND News. Back to you. Okay, Casey, it seems like this could affect a lot of people. How many jobs could be lost if this reform bill actually passes? Well, Stacy, there's not an exact number pinned down, but union leaders, that, union leaders that I've spoken to say it could be around 80,000 jobs nationwide. Wow, big impact. Okay, thanks, Casey. Well, more details now on proposed postal service cuts. In addition to closing the mail processing center in Springfield and consolidating it with St. Louis, the USPS plans to move mail processing operations in Bloomington and Effingham to Champaign. The Postal Service says a 25% drop in first-class mail volume makes the consolidations necessary.